Hello, my name is Robert Abbasi Stone, and you're tuned in to another edition of Lectures from the Hood. Today's topic is about abusive, verbally abusive women. And since I only do my lectures about black people, it's about black women. Um, this is a topic that is very important for you sisters to understand. Um, verbal abuse on your children, your husband, your boyfriend, your friends in general will turn them away from you in a heartbeat. Your girlfriends might understand, you know, because a lot of them are the same way or just to be nice and stick with you and be on your side, they might try to be understanding. But even then, you see all the fighting and drama that goes along with, with, with women and their relationships as well. So it really isn't helping you in any of your relationships. Um, this is something that you need to deal with spiritually because it's having a profound effect on your life if you want to admit it or not. A lot of boys, and I'm going to give you some examples of how it affects everyone around you, verbal abuse. A lot of uh, boys, or a lot of men say they became pimps. Now, this is just one example. Say they became pimps because they saw their mother destroy their stepfather or father. And the closer they were to, and I'm talking about the men, the closer they were to their stepfather or father, uh, the more hurt they were about the abuse the mother was giving uh, these men. One brother said in, in, in one discussion that we had, and I also think, um, talk about some famous people who said some similar things, was that I would never have a woman treat me the, the way my mother treated my father stepfather. And as a result... I'm going to go so far overboard that I'm going to pop a woman in the mouth when she talks back to me. Just like I thought my stepdad or my dad should have done with my mother. I'm going to keep a bitch in line the way my stepdad and my father should have done. So you have people who go all the way to the other extreme and even become pimps. You know what I mean? Because now they don't want to have any kind of real emotional relationship with a woman because of what they saw done to their fathers and stepfathers. Now the question you may be asking is what happened to the fathers and stepfathers as a result of verbal abuse? A lot of them end up drinking, taking drugs, cheating, leaving the home, um, and doing other negative things that weren't good for the family and, w and wasn't good for themselves. Some of them just end up being driven to an early grave. Now, some of you are saying these men need to get balls. They need to be strong. They need to be able to deal with the verbal abuse. But most people don't. Most people don't want to be verbally abused. Okay? And because your man still comes home and deals with your abuse don't mean it's right. Check yourself, sisters, please. You have some boys who grow up saying the one in charge is the woman. So I'm going to become feminine now because I want to be in charge of the household too. I want to have the power, be able to take all the money. And so all I got to do is be feminine to get this. All right. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what kind of effect it's having on your children. And the girls were definitely following your footsteps. This is the way they've been taught how to deal with men. And when you chase the men off, you know what happens then. It's all their fault, and the children suffer. So, sisters, watch what you say to these brothers. I mean, it doesn't, it, it, it's not going to kill you to be kind. You understand what I'm saying? And you'll get more of what you want out of a man by being kind. You're running these men off to white women. And, and it's the truth. You know what I mean? They go to the white woman and they want to deal with somebody who's going to curse them out or belittle them 24 hours a day. Nobody wants to feel less than a man when they come home from work. Nobody wants to feel less than a man when dealing with the woman that they love. And this all should be about love. And if it's not about love 
And if you're having problems, you got bipolar issues or other emotional issues, go get help. Okay? But stop abusing these brothers. A lot of these brothers are going out here angry, getting drunk.